How's it going, oh, man? Good, man. How are you? Good. Very good. Why do you always look sharp? I don't know. We had to talk about this. You're not going to upstage me today. We talked about this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I, you know, I, I have really good friends that work at great companies like Hugo Boss. So, uh, you know. Little plug in there, just saying. Exactly. It's friends in the right places. First of all, thank you so much for supporting a great cause. Talk to us about coming out here and uh, showing your support. Yeah, I mean, this is an amazing cause. You know, the Thirst Project is uh, incredible. It's only been around for, you know, four years. But uh, they're building amazing wells around the world for people that just need really good, clean drinking water. And we take it for granted so much, you know, that uh, that we have fresh water everywhere. But all these children around the world that don't have it, I mean, they're dying of all these diseases. And, you know, a billion people out there, they don't have water. One in six people in the world don't have good water. It's insane. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming out here. Let's talk about some more exciting stuff in terms of uh, career. What can we be looking out for uh, coming up for you? Yes, I can finally talk about it. Um, I have a show coming out on Lifetime this fall. Uh, we don't know the name of it yet. Right now it's called Famous Yard Sale. But what is it called? Famous Yard Sale. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm kind of obsessed with yard sales and growing up in Mississippi. Actually? I, oh, yeah. I love yard sales. And that's how my family would afford to go on vacation every summer was to throw a yard sale. So I wanted to make that virtual for everyone. And then I added another layer of it's celebrities doing virtual yard sales and they raise money for their own charities. Wow. So uh, that website launches next month called yeah. FamousYardSale.com. So we'll start you know, with a few celebrities doing that for uh, charity. And then the live time show will hopefully be out in October so you'll get to see a celebrity and in their home you know tagging their stuff that they want to get rid of and then seeing how much money they raise for it. That's absolutely amazing and it's an incredible concept. What's the coolest thing that you've ever bought at a yard sale? The coolest thing oh like, my god. Be like one item where you're like dude Actually, I just grabbed this from my yard sale. Okay this is really sad to say but I was at a yard sale where they had an NSYNC marionette of Joey Fatone okay. and I didn't have it for some reason and I actually bought it for five dollars. Well you had to, I mean you're the god you're the godfather of his child. Yes I am, yes. Um, uh, as a godfather, how how uh, involved are you in uh, in the upbringing? Yeah, uh, you know I try to as much as possible, especially when it comes to Joey. Uh, I feel like I am the better influence around the kid than Joey. That's right Joey. Uh, Called you out buddy. <laughs> no, I think it's, it's really fun because Joey and I are completely opposites. I mean he's Brooklyn New York and I am Clinton Mississippi um, but somehow the freaking frack works and I think that's great you know for the family too because I think that I have a lot to offer his kids and some southern mentality uh, as opposed to that you know that harsh New York mentality now, I'm sure the question is on everybody's mind and it's probably not the first time you, you've been asked this will NSYNC ever come back for like one song <laughs> I mean I would never say never as Justin Bieber says um, but yeah I mean there's always a possibility uh, but I don't think anytime soon. I, I, I love that all the bands are coming back together and yeah. it's great. And Spice Girls are back. Um, but I don't think anything is going to happen with us anytime soon. All right, very politically correct about it. Are you on the whole social media front, Facebook, Twitter? Of course, I'm at Lance Bass. Come oh. on now. At Lance Bass? At Lance Bass. And it's you, right? You mod it's it's me, you I moderating actually it. actually tweet it, yes. Mm -hmm. right, what do you tweet about? I tweet about everything. Mainly now it's because uh, I'm producing so much television. It's mainly about my TV shows. So, uh, you know, I'm getting everyone excited about Famous Yard Cell coming up. And um, I have a radio show on XM uh, that I do weekly. And now it's going to be daily. Um, so it's, it's really fun. You know, the fans are amazing on Twitter. So it's, it's amazing to get that direct reaction from everyone. Well, speaking of the fans on Twitter, we asked them uh, what they would like to ask uh, you, oh, yeah. and specifically, so in light of the Thirst Project, yeah. the question is, do you think the world would be a better place if it had a lot more freshwater waterfalls? Uh, I think the world would definitely be a better place with a lot more fresh waterfalls. The reason I ask is because they're asking celebrities, uh, okay. in, in light of the Thirst Project, to take a waterfall swig. Of course. Nice. But you know the whole waterfall, you cannot touch your face, you got a waterfall. Si side wave view, right here. Here we go. Lance Bass, waterfall in it. How high is he going? Oh, he's going high. <laughs> Damn Hugo Boss. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wow. Wow. That was no joke. That was the highest waterfall. A sip. Did not spill a sip, thank you very much. Dude, that was the highest waterfall of today. Why, thank you. No joke. I can be known for something. That's incredible. Dude, thank you so much. I wanted to... Have you ever heard of this book? The Secret Language of Birthdays. You know what? I have heard of this book. I've, yeah. not, I've not read any of it, though. When's your birthday? May 4th. 
All right, here we go. May 4th. All you are right. born. You got to read this. Born on the day of? The day of nurturing support. Ooh, that's kind of mean. Yeah, that is that. Like strength. Nurture. What are your strengths? Strengths are caring, warm-hearted, and stable. Would you agree? Yeah, very. Weakness. Self-denying, resentful, unfulfilled. Ooh. You know, I see that. Put stubborn in there, and it's definitely my weakness. <laughs> I'm a true Taurus. Are, really? Oh, a true Taurus. Why be, what, are you, what are you stubborn about? What's like the when one people, thing? Well, when people say you can't do anything, I do it. Just like Famous Yard Cell, I came up with six years ago, and everyone's like, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. Watch. Coming out on Lifetime this October, yeah. baby. I'm Brush right. the dirt off the shoulder. Hey, everyone. I'm Lance Bass, and you can watch me on Secret Language TV. Sweet. Dude, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Oh, here's your top. Thanks, man.